Hey, hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, guys. In this video, we're going to discuss Miss Candace Owens. First of all, this is a double header. So we're going to talk about Miss Candace Owens. Where is she? She's like MIA. And I've got some tea in regards to that. The second video I want you to check out also is my favorite, uh, the Duke of Duchess, Prince Harry. I got that from Lady C, so I had to grab it. And the Duchess of Montecito, Meghan Markle. How they are just ingrates to be given all those blessings and they don't even see it. They continue to, you know, spew negativity. So we're going to get into that in the second video. All right. In this one, let's get into Miss Candace Owens. The heat is on Miss Candace Owens. She has been missing in action. And for what I understand, she has got a gag order on her. According to um, some of the news sites on YouTube and uh, in the social media streets, apparently um, the Daily Wire put a gag order on her behind the scenes. So just check it out on, uh, is it Greenwald's channel? I don't follow them much, but all I know is I noticed Candace Owens has been missing. I think the gag order is one thing, but I think also Candace Owens is just waiting for the heat to get off. She's waiting for things to cool down because she truly, truly stepped in it. First of all, she accused the president of France saying that his wife is transgender. Now, the president of France, do we care? Some don't, some do, but I think it's her spirit and her motivation for doing it was not in a kind, it was not kind. It didn't come from a kind place. Then she decided to dive into, head first, into the Israeli and Gaza war. And she decided that she was going to come out and just say what she wanted to say. And, you know, she, Candace, and when the heat got on, and then them hornets, she stepped into a hornet's nest. And now she's trying to hide out. First, she tried to go on black uh, so black media sites like The Breakfast Club. And who else? Who else does she meet with? Um, and you know what? I don't blame them because I do believe in free speech. I want to hear what you got to say. And I've been following Candace Owens a long time. I did a video explaining to you guys my reasons uh, and you may support her and you are entitled to yours, but I am also entitled to mine. And just as I predicted, Candace Owens is laying low, hoping that the heat will just, hoping that things will just die down because the heat is on her now. The pressure is on. And if she thinks it's going to be over, she can just, you know, she can sit back for a while and let things cool down. No, mm -mm, not this time, Candace, not this time. I always tell my children, and I practice this myself, just because you have the freedom of speech to say anything you want to say, it doesn't mean that you can't, you, you know, that there are no consequences behind it. There are consequences behind it. Everything, when you open your mouth, you have to be careful. You got to run them numbers. And let me tell you, I am not going to be sitting out and publicly speaking against a whole group of people that with a lot of power and money. And this is a very, very sensitive issue. And I am not, I am not, I'm, I am not a scholar and I am just not going to weigh into any of that. No, ma'am. I don't even discuss politics on my channel. Why? I consider politics and religion that's used to divide us. So I don't think, I don't want to talk about it because I, someone will like it and the other person will get pissed off. There's no one happy. If you got one side like it, the other side won't. So I just stick to topics that I find interesting and uh, debatable sometimes. But if it's too hot of a topic, I try to avoid it because if it's, if it's going to lead to more anger and frustration and blowback, 
I try to stay clear of it. So, Miss Candace Owens, what you doing, girl? What you doing? I knew you would go hiding. I knew you would go hide out until the everything calms down. But guess what? I don't think it will, Miss Candace Owens. And you wanted to debate Ben Shapiro, and then allegedly behind the scenes, they put you under gag order. So you are in a lot of trouble, Miss Candace Owens. All of those negative things you said about George Floyd, about black people and, and our uh as a culture, you made money basically saying the things that white people couldn't say because they would be called racist. So you decided to make your money and monetize it by slamming your own people. I don't like it and I don't respect you for it, but I am enjoying how you are really trying to get out of this little quagmire you got yourself into. Sometimes it's better to just shut your mouth. Sometimes you start to feel as if that's that ego. You're like, hey, wait a minute. I got all of these white people praising me. Didn't, um, oh, Pat Bet David put you on his channel. Uh, even you were on Ben Shapiro's, well, The Daily Wire or whatever, right? Also, um, who else? Uh, Dr. Drew even said you're badass. Oh, because you were, like, like uh, Dave, uh, Dave Chappelle called you an articulate idiot. That's really what you are. But anyways, no name calling. I just said you were an articulate idiot. But you, some of you may differ, and that is cool. I'm just giving my opinion. But I ask, no matter what your opinion is, leave it in the chat. I do read all comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Enjoy it. Uh, and I will chat with you soon. By the way, where the hell, again, where the hell is Candace Owens? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Ciao.